Hey guys, so the Pet Cemetery remake is coming up very, very soon, and so far the general chit chat about it is that it's friggin' amazing. It's very scary, very well performed, well written, and scary as hell. So that's cool because the original Pet Cemetery movie that came out all those years ago in the 80s, it was fun, it's creepy. It's very dated now though, so the scare factor in that is not really as palpable as it could be. Like the 80s, yeah, it was it was a fun decade, but the movie is kind of like almost like a TV movie. There, I said it. The original Pet Cemetery movie is kind of like a, a TV movie, which I really, really like. Fred Gwynn in that was amazing, and a little scary gauge zombie boy, truly horrifying. And you know, Stephen King. Who doesn't love Stephen King? His books are incredible. But apparently this new remake is just off the charts scary. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it. It's definitely on my radar. Um, it, which came out last year. We've got It Chapter 2 coming out later this year, I think. Also looks like it's going to be incredible. It's such a fun movie. It was so good. Anyway, we've got the final chapter. Not the final chapter. We've got the final trailer for Pet Cemetery 2019. I didn't know there was going to be another one, but it's here. Three, two, one, go. Final trailer. Okay, zombie girl. I love the gender switcheroo. Okay. My birthday party. Church is out on the road. And everything went black. Holy shit. It's okay now. Are you back? Back from where? What's going on? There's a place rage brings things back. Oh Aren't my god. god. Are you happy, mommy? I should never have shown you that place. What'd you do? If you cheat death, there's a price to be paid. I needed more time with her. Sometimes dead is better. If you've done something, Lewis, it's not too late to undo it. Oh, good God. <laughs> Jump scare suck. Ooh, man. That was really unsettling. I loved it. Okay, very similar to the previous trailers, but yeah, the the gender switch, because in, in the original book and in and the movie, the the gauge was a little boy, very, very young, about two years old. So they've made her the daughter and aged her up to about nine or ten. So which is good because there were scenes in there where, where they seem to be having conversations. So he's having a bit of a chat to her about, you know, how is it to be back from the dead? She's like, uh, back from where? And there's like, I shouldn't be an actor. But I'll, I'm loving that, that having that, having her older does give that more characterization and development and a little bit more of insight a little bit more of an insight into her character being dead uh creepy twisted that scene when the person with the back exposed crawling along the corridor wow that gave me the willies that was really kind of very very unnerving the movie looks incredible oh man directed by kevin colch and get off there dennis dennis widmeyer so I'm, I'm officially pumped. It's like uh, Stephen King's having a bit of a resurgence. It did so well at the box office, and it was such a quality movie. I love that. It's kind of like drawing all that attention back to Stephen King's works and, and giving them a redo with a modern twist, but doing them right, not just cheap knockoffs, straight to DVD. No, big screen, theatrical releases with a bit of money behind them and a lot of talent. This is going to be a goldmine. I cannot wait because I've been a fan of... I've been a fan of Stephen King for years. Anyway, what do you think of that one? You're going to see it? Are you going to be scared? I can't wait to see it. It looks incredible. So, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.